Now let's take a look at JTAG Boundary Scan. JTAG Boundary Scan was the first test methodology to become a sanctioned IEEE standard. The standard number is IEEE 1149.1 .1, and its initial version was balloted on and approved in 1990. The standard defines features to be designed into an, uh, an integrated circuit that provides access to its digital I.O. pins from the inside of the device. That way circuit nodes on the PCB can be accessed with device internal test features rather than a bed of nails fixture or with moving probes. With these built-in test features, Boundary Scan helps to regain test access to circuit nodes that may be inaccessible, may not be accessible when using physical meth access methods with probes, such as with high density device packages and components with hidden solder joints such as BGAs. Boundary Scan also has the potential to shorten the time to market since it can be used very early in the product life cycle potentially without the need of any bed of nails fixture. Boundary scan can be used throughout the whole project life cycle since test vectors can be applied with very simple test equipment. Special circuitry to execute boundary scan tests can even be embedded on a print printed circuit assembly for use at the system level. For example, as part of a power on self tests for systems out in the field. Boundary scan tests can be developed very rapidly and typically as soon as the schematic design of the UUT is available, even prior to having the layout of the PCB finished. The primary application for which boundary scan was developed initially was to detect and diagnose manufacturing defects related to connectivity at the board level, such as stuck at zero and stuck at one faults, open solder joints, and shorted circuit nodes. Today, the test access port defined in IEEE 1149.1 .1, is used for many additional applications such as in-system programming, access to built-in self-test, on-chip emulation and debug resources, and system level test. As mentioned earlier, the original IEEE standard defining the JTAG boundary scan test resources was ratified in 1990. JTAG, by the way, stands for Joint Test Action Group, which was a group of interested parties that set out to develop the test methodology that became IEEE 1149.1. .1. Since then, many standard development efforts <coughs> built onto the original work by re reusing features defined in 1149.1. .1. One such standard is IEEE 1149.4, .4, which defines device features supporting the test of analog circuits. Another example is IEEE 1149.6, which defines test resources used to verify AC coupled networks and which improves the test differential networks, uh, the, test of test, uh, the test of differential networks. IEEE 1532 defines in-system programming features accessible via the test access port defined in 1149.1 essentially providing a common methodology to program devices from different vendors. And there are a number of ongoing standardization efforts to make use of features defined in IEEE 1149.1.